Next, we're gonna do the hip abduction machine. So what I call the good girls, because we're closing our legs, all right? Um, so if you have a machine that's adjustable, you probably wanna go all the way out. Use your toes to push it into that ready position, okay? Um, we're gonna be doing about 50 to 100 of these. Most likely we're gonna do about 100, to be honest. Um, and then from here, what you wanna do is you're going to want to keep it in place. Right, using your hand, <laughs> and then we're gonna sit down on it. So your legs should be strong enough to be able to hold the weight in that position. Okay. Um, what I found is that by holding onto this position, holding onto the handles, and getting that nice upright position, and then kind of turning the feet out, almost like we're externally rotating from the knees. So instead of keeping the toes in and toes out, that's gonna target two different. Uh, it's going to target two different types of areas, okay? So it's basically just twisting and opening up the hip, which is targeting more on the lower half of our adductors. Rather than the feet being out, we're going to target more on the up, like towards the upper half, all right? You'll feel the difference, trust me. But play around with it, see how it feels, okay? So we're going to start just by holding in that upright position, letting this guy stretch out for a second. It feels really good, right? And then once we feel like we're good to go, start banging them out. Okay, keeping pressure right on that area. We're just going, that's it. Keeping upright, banging them out. And then once we hit 100, good to go. Okay, we're going to push these guys together, step off nice and safely, and then we spread them out. <laughs>